Hello everyone, it's PC Alpa here and in this video I'll be talking about how to fix discrete error for the game Call of Duty Warzone and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So a lot of users have been complaining about this issue and this error comes with different error codes. But in this video I'll be talking about general discrete error and after this video I'll be digging more into this topic and I will find solution for every specific error code. But in this video I'll be talking about general solutions that are working for most of the users having discrete error. So I have one fix that's working for all of the users and two to three workarounds that are working for most of the users. But I would recommend you to perform the workarounds first because the fix is reinstalling the game all over again without pausing. It's because this error appears only when you have downloaded the game but while downloading you pause the game at least once. If you have paused the downloading of the game at least once then the game gets broken and this read error appears. So the solution is reinstalling the game all over again without pausing but before doing that I would recommend you to first perform all the workarounds that I'm showing now. So let's get started. So the first workaround is clean booting your PC. If you don't know how to clean boot your PC I've already made a separate guide on how to do so of 2 minutes 45 seconds. I will provide you the link of this video in the description of this video on how to clean boot your PC. This is a necessary step before performing any further workaround. So as soon as you have clean booted your PC then proceed to the second step that is you have to go to a Call of Duty Modern Warfare directory where you have installed the game and here accept the folders select all the files as you can see in this in this image that I have not selected these three folders but I have selected these files and starting from build.info select all the files like this and delete these files permanently. So the PC I'm using for recording is not having this game installed that's why I'm showing you with the help of screenshots. So once you have deleted them all then go to your battle.net. So once you open battle.net run it as an administrator and in this go to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and here select options and click on scan and repair. So what it will do is it will look for all the files that have been deleted. It will see that these files are missing so it will re-download them and it will not of it will not be of very big size so once they are repaired then there are chances that your problem will be solved so that's it for this step but if it still doesn't work you can try some more things like once you are here select game settings and in game settings select call of duty modern warfare as you can see i also have black ops 4 but you have to select modern warfare and here take additional command line arguments and here type dash d3 d11 that is it will automatic, automatically redirect your game to DirectX 11 and play it using DirectX 11. So type dash D3 D11 in this additional command line argument. So that's, that can also fix the problem for you. But if it also doesn't work for you, what you can do is right click on your main screen and go to NVIDIA control panel. If you are an AMD user, then you have to wait till the next step. So in this step, go to NVIDIA control panel and in control panel, go to manage 3D settings. In Manage 3D settings, go to Power Management mode and here select Prefer Maximum Performance. Once you have done it, apply these settings and click on OK. And this might also fix this problem. Now if you are an AMD user, disabling the in-game overlay might help you. So to disable in-game overlay, go into AMD Radon software and in settings, go to General. In General, go to Preferences and in Preferences, go to In-game overlay and disable it. So this is also working for many users so you can try disabling in-game overlay and it might help you if you are an AMD user. Now if you are able to open the game and get into the menu then you can perform the next two or three workarounds that I am going to show you. But if you are not even able to get into the game that's it for you. You can just try reinstalling your game without pausing it and that will surely help you in fixing this problem. So now for the users who are able to get into the game. Open the game, sit in the game menu before selecting Warzone and you have to wait for the shaders to load. Once the shaders are loaded then navigate into Warzone and click on options and go to graphic settings. In graphic settings what you have to do is limit your FPS to 100. This should be catered to what average FPS you think. I think it's to limit FPS spikes that might overwhelm the CPU. Because one of the reasons your game crashes is when your game takes more than 90% of your CPU then the CPU commands to stop this process and that's why the game stops. So limiting FPS might help. Another thing you can do is 
go into graphic settings and in shadow and lighting turn off all shadow caches and reduce shadows to low or normal it's working for menu users who are able to get into the menu so apply these new settings navigate back to graphics and restart shader download once that's completed try battle royale again and it might work and the last thing that you can try is you can try running your game in borderless full screen and also you can try running your game in windowed mode and once you have done it that's all you can do for this problem and if it still doesn't work the last thing you can do is reinstall the game all over again without pausing and it will surely help you in fixing this problem so that's it for this video if it worked for you please hit the like button below if it didn't work for you write in the comment section i'll dig more into this topic and look for more solutions so thank you for watching this video don't and don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day